Hello my friends, thanks for stopping by today. I hope you all are having a fantastic day if you're new here. I appreciate you stopping by my channel and I hope that you will consider subscribing. So in today's video, I'm going to be bringing you a delicious decadent Valentine's Day treat. We are going to be canning up cherry chocolate jam. And you guys, the stuff is phenomenal. It is so, so good. The recipe comes from the all new ball book of canning. It is on page 35 um, under cherry chocolate jam. Uh, you only need a few ingredients to make this. You're gonna need six cups of fresh or frozen pitted dark sweet cherries coarsely chopped. Now I couldn't find the dark sweet cherries in my grocery store. Um, they were out of them. So I picked up the red tart cherries instead and that's what I'm gonna be using today. You can use either one. Um, this recipe has a lot of sugar in it. So I think that the tart red tart cherries will also balance out some of that sweetness better than the dark sweet cherries. I'm not sure why they chose that here, but it's safe to use either one. I'm using frozen. You do not need to defrost them before you coarsely chop them. I used my food processor and just pulsed it a few times in batches um, to just break them up just a little bit um, because they do say to coarsely chop them. So, And you can use either type of cherry is totally fine. This question I get a lot, it says six cups of cherries and then it says coarsely chopped. You are going to measure six cups before you coarsely chop them. We get a question, that question a lot. Do you chop after you measure or before you measure? You're gonna measure out six cups prior to chopping. You need six tablespoons of, they are saying Ball Classic Pectin, but it could be another brand. You just need six tablespoons of pectin. We are not using low or no sugar here. I'm not sure that that would work well here um, because of the chocolate. I guess you could try it but I'm what I'm going to be demonstrating is exactly how the recipe is written with the classic pectin. We need a quarter of a cup of bottled lemon juice. You do need to use bottled lemon juice because the acidity of bottled lemon juice is controlled. We need six cups of sugar and two thirds of a cup of unsweetened cocoa. Making jam is fast and furious, so you wanna make sure you have all of your ingredients out and ready to go before you get started. Now, if you've hung around my channel very much, you know that I like to be bougie with my jams and jellies, so I am going to kick mine up a notch once again. I am going to, I couldn't decide if I wanted to bring out the cherry flavor or the chocolate flavor. Both are fantastic for Valentine's Day, um, but I had some creme de cacao on hand, so that's what I'm gonna be using at the end. You could use any type of cherry liqueur that you like or any other chocolate liqueur, um, but I'm gonna be using the creme de cacao. At the end, I'm just gonna add a couple of tablespoons at the very end of my cooking time. But again, that is totally optional. If you do not want any type of liquor in your jam, you can leave it out. That's just a Carol twist. So I'm gonna bring you in close and we're gonna get started. Okay guys, we are ready to get started. You wanna make sure you have everything together um, before you get started because jams are pretty fast and furious. So I have my six cups of cherries in my pan. I coarsely chopped them using my food processor. I just pulsed it a couple times in batches just to break them down just a little bit. To our cherries, we are going to add a quarter of a cup of bottled lemon juice. And we're also gonna add our six tablespoons of pectin. We're gonna turn our heat on to high. And we are going to bring this to a full rolling boil that cannot be stirred down. While that's happening, I'm gonna get my canner and my jars ready. Okay guys, my cherries have come to a full rolling boil that cannot be stirred down. You can see as I'm stirring, it's still boiling. So we are ready to add our six cups of sugar and two thirds cup of cocoa. I have whisked those together and we're gonna add that all at once to our cherry mixture. You want to stir, stir, stir. We're going to bring this up to a, another full rolling boil and we want to let it boil hard for one minute. You guys, the boiling time is really important for your jam to set. So make sure you do, in fact, bring it to a full rolling boil and you let it boil really hard for one minute. 
Once that happens, we will be all set for canning. Okay guys, our jam has come up to a really hard boil. We wanna let it boil hard like that for one minute. All right guys, it's been boiling hard for one minute. I'm going to turn off my heat and I'm going to add a tablespoon or two of my creme de cacao. We are all set for canning. Modern canning guidelines state we do not need to pre-sterilize jars or lids as long as we are canning for 10 minutes or more. We are going to be processing for 10 minutes, so I just wash my jars and my lids, set them aside. Um, my jars, I kept them hot in my canner. I'm going to be steam canning, or you can water bath can this. In my steam canner, I have three quarts of simmering water in the bottom of my canner, and I've kept my jars hot in there. So we are going to ladle our jam to a quarter of an inch headspace. Pretty sure I don't even need to tell you how yummy this smells. It is absolutely amazing. We are gonna use a debubbling tool to gently remove any air bubbles. If your headspace changes, you might need to add more jam. And then I use a paper towel dipped in white vinegar to clean my rims to make sure I'm gonna get a really good seal. We're gonna add our lids. and then add our rings to fingertip tight. Okay guys, once you get your canner full, you wanna crank up your heat. If you are water bath canning this, you wanna make sure you have enough water in your canner to cover your jars by at least an inch. You wanna bring it to a full rolling boil to begin your processing time, and then you're gonna slowly reduce your heat just to maintain the full rolling boil. If you are steam canning, you're going to make sure you are in your green zone before you start your processing time. Um, and then again, adjust your heat just to maintain staying inside of the green zone. And just as an FYI, the, that jam, because of the chocolate, does spitter and spatter a lot. So I highly recommend that you either wear an apron or old clothes while you are um, making your jam because it does kind of spatter a little bit. Anyway, we're going to process for 10 minutes and then I'll bring you back. All right guys, we are all done with our 10 minutes processing time. And then afterward, I let my jars sit in the canner for another five minutes. Um, it's kind of hard to tell what it looks like. It's just dark looking in there, but I did set some aside so I can show it to you. So this is obviously not completely set, but it has set a little bit. I did stick it in the freezer uh, for a few minutes so I could show you what it was like when it set up some. And doesn't that look absolutely amazing? It tastes so, so yummy. This is gonna be amazing for Valentine's Day gifting or to make a sweet treat for your love on Valentine's Day. Now, one thing I was thinking of as I was processing this is if you, if this doesn't set, it is certainly not a tragedy. Um, if it never sat up more than this, it would be an amazing chocolate sauce, um, chocolate cherry sauce. So if you wanted it to turn out more like a sauce than a jam, I would just add a little less pectin, maybe half the pectin so that it stayed saucy like this because I think this is amazing. Absolutely luscious and delicious. So it'd be perfect for on top of ice cream or um, drizzling over a cake, something like that, something in the dessert category. But it, you guys, this stuff is absolutely amazing. It is so decadent and it's a great Valentine's Day treat. So I hope you will give it a try. If you have any comments or questions for me, leave them in the comment section. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and I will see you next time. Have a great day and happy Valentine's Day. Mwah.